Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. In this week's episode, you are gonna see us travel 866 miles from the French Alps all the way to our hometown, Plymouth. What the hell, Google? I don't see a right turn, babe. Are you all right, Olive? How bad can it get? Guys, I don't really know what's going on, but I think the boat's just left without us. <laughs> We are so sad to be leaving Europe. Oh, I, I can't believe this is the end of our winter trip around Europe. But we technically have three weeks left in the Schengen area, but we're having to leave early and we're not very happy about it. But we'll fill you in at the end of this video as to why we've had to leave early. Let's go to it. So as we are slowly making our way back towards the UK, we're now going to move on a little bit, find a nice quiet area for a couple of days, get a bit of work done, hopefully find somewhere to empty the toilet, empty the waste, the usual van life duties, a couple of down days, and then make some more traction towards the UK. We've got about five or six days till we actually have to be in the UK because of the whole Schengen thing. So we're going to stop off at a few places. But where? We're not sure yet. It's going to be one of them where we just click on a map, drive there, and see what it's like. So we've come to this place called Columbus Coffee. We've actually been to one of these before in Annecy, so we know they do good coffee. I've got a caramel oat latte. You've got nothing, sorry buddy. Apart from a pretty face. He loves people watching. He does, and people love watching him. Literally, the smiles he puts on people's faces is unbelievable. I just got speaking to an English couple in there who's just going down to the Switzerland and Austria and Italy and I was telling them all about it. I love meeting people on the road. No. I've brought some mustard for our family because we're in Dijon. <laughs> uh, that's where Dijon mustard <clears throat> comes from. So we've just brought a couple of these like little gift packs that's different flavours for them. None for us because we're not <laughs> big mustard fans. Here again on the hunt for magnets or postcards. I think it's got to be the Dijon mustard, isn't it? Absolutely, I love that one. I think that's my favourite. I know, mate. We're waiting for mum again. I'm going to get this one. See you in a minute. We are almost back at the bus now, but oh my god, Dijon has literally stole our hearts. From a point where we just picked a place on the map, we knew it was on our way back to the UK, we thought we'll just stop there, see what it's like. And yeah, it was absolutely stunning. Highly recommend it to anyone as a stop off. She needs a good old clean off girl, don't she? She does. She's been uh, living it up in the Alps at the moment. It feels like summer. It does. It's definitely not January, is it? It feels like summer. Hey, look at our wall. We've got a few things added on that bad boy. My nice mustard, Dijon mustard can go on here somewhere. Love it. What a trip. Are you ready to go? Hello. Hello. I'm just trying to find somewhere. This is the real van life. Trying to find somewhere where you can do all your van life duties, somewhere to park. There's always something to think about when doing van life. This is where you don't know whether to trust Google Maps or not. Oh my god. Same, we're on here for another 500 meters, babe. Really? I'm scared. Really? I was trying to go to this park up that was like a nice quiet spot. But the way it's taking us is typical Google. Is typical. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't feel like we should be here. Well, we've come too far now. We've just driven past some people that are walking their dog and they're probably looking at us like, what are you doing down here? And they're probably thinking, we're going to see them again in a minute. They're going to turn around and come back. What do you reckon, Fletch? Do you reckon they're meant to be here, buddy? This is so weird. <laughs> I mean, Google Maps has taken us on some pretty hilarious journeys before, but this is someone else, isn't it? This is the worst ever. We've never been on anywhere like this. 150 meters, turn right. 
We're turning right in 150 meters, babe. That We're gonna be, be going into the trees. That better be a road. Do you reckon I've put on walking or something? Right. No, nope. it says driving. <sighs> I don't see a right turn, babe. Take the next right. What right? Are you serious? You just told you to go right. Yeah. We can't go right. There's a woods to the right. Oh my god. My turn it's actually telling you to go down there, babe. Down there, look. Shut up. That's not a road. Okay, so where's this going to take us? Bloody you know? morons. Let me just show you, like, where we are. Like, that's where it's trying to take us. It told us to go down there. It told us to go down there. And that's where we've just come from. When you look. We're right in the middle of Green Park. Yeah, we're only going to go deeper, aren't we? Oh my god, babe. It's telling us like we're going up and then we're coming all the way back out of the green bit. We're going to have to turn around. What the hell, Google? I didn't sign up for this. I trust you. That didn't sound great. Are you all right, Olive? What on earth? Good job, we've got all terrain tires. He smashed it, he's turned around. Now we're gonna have to drive all the way back out. How stupid. That was not a road, maybe back in the 1950s, but it's certainly not a road right now. So yeah, we're not sure where we're going now. We just wanted a peaceful little park up to watch the sunset, get some work done. It's those people again. Oh my god, they're they going to look at us and think, what are you doing? Just keep our heads down, shall we? Yeah. Not us, British, thinking <laughs> this was a road. They're going to think, how stupid. Bonjour. Wrong way. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> they're like, are you guys uh, for real? Where were you actually thinking of going? Almost there, Fletch. Sorry if you feel a bit seasick. Yeah. This is where the normal road begins. <laughs> Here we are. Ah, oh, oh, that's better. We came out alive. That was mad. That was really mad. Some crazy driving. Let's go. We found our park up and we are literally in the middle of nowhere. It's a proper nature spot. So I reckon Google Maps was trying to bring us down on this road here or even through this field here. But we've just come on that road here, which was literally five minutes away from a toilet dump station that we were just at. So why on earth it wanted to send us 20 minutes into that national park, I don't know. But this is pretty beautiful to spend the night tonight. Look at these views, that sky is gorgeous with that sunset. So yeah, we're gonna make something to eat now and enjoy this view. What an adventure sometimes. What an adventure. So after a productive evening, we've got the YouTube done. We've continued to load it this morning. We're now gonna make our way up to a little point which is just east of Paris. It's about three and a half hours from here, but this was an absolutely perfect little park up. Sam's all ready in the front. Fletchy's ready. Let's hit the road. My legs are a little bit sore. I've just done a workout outside before we hit the road. Could be a bit of a struggle getting up here. You will arrive at your destination at 6.39 p.m. back from the services and there was no snacks for us vegans so I am making a couple of peanut butter and banana sandwiches let us know in the comments if you do love a peanut butter and banana sandwich or even better a peanut butter and jam sandwich unfortunately we don't have any jam but yeah let us know in the comments if you're game for a peanut butter and jam or peanut butter and banana sandwich I wonder how much this is going to be. Okay. 
to Mo. It's called Mo and it's half an hour outside of Paris. We found this free car park which is outside a police station which we're hoping to get the train in tomorrow if the weather's okay to Paris. And we Why? left our spot at three o'clock. It's now eight o'clock. Why did it take that long? It's because the van's not doing 130 mile an hour. Their speed limits. So we're only doing like 70 mile an hour. But yeah we're a little bit closer to the UK but we might just have a cheeky stop in Paris on the way home. What do we think? Buzzing for it. Ready, Fletch? Take you to see the Eiffel Tower. How's it going down? It's good for me. Doesn't matter what it tastes like. I think it's the greatest taste ever. Ginger and lemon. It's all right. It's all right. It's just started raining by the way and we've just figured out that it's a 20 minute walk to the train station into Paris so um rain wants to stop that would be fantastic So that is Metro 1 done, we've got the train in, now we've just been on our first Metro stop. We're trying to get to the Eiffel Tower, so we've got two more Metros to go, haven't we? Yes. Two but more. Fletcher is being good as gold, but oh my god, it is so busy. It's so different being back in a city. We haven't been in a city like this for a long time, have we? No. actually realise where we are? There's some dark clouds coming to the right of us so I think it's going to start raining soon but I'm just so happy we're here. <laughs> oh hi! Ah! happened to the clouds but it's now a blue sky as far as the eye can see so the sun's come out for us today still haven't eaten though no i'm still marvin the structure of the Eiffel tower is incredible if you look at it like how they built that in the age where they did build it is unbelievable but yeah, I'm just not a fan of how they're blocking everything else off. I was just reminiscing because it was that platform up there, looking out that way where we got engaged. A little bit emotional. Found a cafe just down the road here. And we're just going to have a nice coffee and potentially something to eat. The clouds have come back now. <laughs> Definitely got bipolar today, this weather. Sun's on me right now, but behind is just black. Clouds. The camera is so shaky because I'm being pulled in each direction by Fletch. That is the truth of vlogging with a dog. All you guys that don't have a dog, you don't know how easy you've got it actually. We've got the camera in one hand, the dog in the other, Sam's over there. We've got it all going on, haven't we? We have. We hungry. We are, aren't we? So we've had a nice bite to eat. We had a chili, a soup, a peanut butter shake and a coffee. And now we have just walked half an hour to the glassy pyramid thing. Sam, Sam knows what it's called. The Ready? Louvre. 
I think it's the Louvre. The Louvre. We've never That's been what... here before, so I feel a bit more excited now because like we've been to the There it is! Before. Did you not know it was there? No, did you know it was there? <laughs> yeah! I generally That's did not know it was there. That's why I said it was really busy look. Oh, I knew it was in here. I was just concentrating forward on the massive advert for uh, Tiffany & Co. That's what I was watching. I didn't realise it was there. Look how busy it is. That's mad. And this is like a cloudy, wet day in January. Imagine what it's like in the summer. I'm excited to go and see it though. There's Christmas decorations hanging from the middle. That looks pretty cool. He's had enough. He thinks we're at the beach. Still doesn't realise he's actually in the centre of Paris. <laughs> he could be anywhere, couldn't you, Fluff? As long as it's sand, you're happy. Loving it. I think someone's tired. The rain has started. Luckily, we got a cheap umbrella that we brought with us <laughs> just to keep the camera dry. That's the only reason we bought Trying this. Trying to keep the camera dry. Oh my God, I've been shaking around. Um, but yeah, the weather's uh, turned really bad. So we're <laughs> gonna go and run for cover. Hey, what's going on, babe? Well, the weather has gone grim. And it doesn't look like it's changing anytime soon. So, are we, we going to call it a day? Abort mission. We just got ourselves a little drink. And yeah, I think it might be a abort mission, guys. Our cheap little umbrella snapped. Yep. So yeah, might just need to abort mission, don't you think? Yeah. Let's make our way back to the bus now. You've been fun. By the way, guys, I'm stood outside the shop. And all I could see was the Mona Lisa painting behind me. Now, me and Chris are not very educated with these kind of things. <laughs> and I was like, I wonder if the Mona Lisa is actually inside the Louvre. And yeah, it is. That's what it's all about. So we just learned that right here. made it onto the train. The metro was absolutely rammed, but the train isn't too bad at the moment. We are back to the bus. Just before it gets dark, it's amazing that this car park is free. And it's right outside of a police station. Chin strapped. <laughs> oh. Where are you? Home sweet home pudding. You got a drink, finish your dinner. How's it all looking? All oh, looking good. It's a bit untidy because we're in a bit of a rush this morning. But now we're going to go and drive towards the tunnel a little bit further, maybe just half an hour, so we can sit down, have something to eat, get a couple of calls done. Yeah, one step closer to home. Get inhaling that, that'll help. In our Christmas mug. Breathe it in. Oh yeah. We have just booked the ferry home tonight. Chris convinced me to do the Calais to Dover ferry. We've never done that one before. Um, just to experience it, see what it's like. We've got access to a new pet lounge, which is on there. So it's going to be great to show you guys um, that. So we are traveling tonight at quarter past nine. Brilliant. So this, we're not having any more nights in Europe. So Next time we go to bed is going to be in the UK. Somewhere. Probably another air or another lay-by in the UK. Amazing. Do I hang this one up, yeah? Sorry. I hang it up on here? Yeah. <laughs> one, two, oh, one. It's windy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bonjour. 
so nervous with this wind. Thank you, bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, let's put this window up because it's bloody freezing. Definitely. Hello. 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 Hello.
the method of donning a light jacket. That is the ferry trip done. We are just coming into dock now up in Dover. We're gonna get on the road, find a spot to park up, and then get our heads down because it is currently, wow, it's quarter past three. <laughs> well, that's the time in France. It's actually quarter past two here in the UK, but nonetheless, it is still a really, really, early morning we have made it to Folkestone we've drove 20 minutes after getting off the ferry getting off the ferry we were first nice and smooth all the way off but this is us signing out from this point it's quite emotional actually because this is the same park up we came to the night before we got the Euro tunnel out for this winter trip yeah so we're back where it all started so we made it back to the UK we have spent the last 24 hours with our friends and family and now it's time to fill you in on our plans and the whole reason why we left Europe early. We, we are, are going, going back to the Alps, skiing baby! New gear. Are you happy? I am. Are I'm feeling. These? I'm feeling blue. <laughs> yes, that's right. We're going skiing for the first time ever. We are heading back to the French Alps and they do have snow, we can confirm it. I know what you're thinking. Yes, we literally just left the French Alps. But guys, as you know, Fletcher is part of the travel duo. He is a part of our family and we wanted to drive him back here to the UK so we didn't have to worry about him for the whole two weeks that we're going to be skiing. So we're going to have a holiday without our little boy. It's like being child. Boy. It is. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be so weird. But we're going to miss him oh, so God, much. Of course. He's like our left hand. Yeah, isn't absolutely, he? yeah. We but he's going to have the best time with my parents. They'll be spoiling him. So yeah, we have literally just driven hundreds of miles <laughs> away from the French Alps just to taxi our little boy back here to the UK. And now we're headed back. So we'll see you in the French Alps. See ya!